How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the XML HTTP request within JavaScript otherwise known as Ajax. So basically this allows you to make requests to other websites, web servers, web pages or APIs within your JavaScript code without refreshing the page or rerunning your script. So it's quite useful definitely when dealing with real-time data if you want to fetch real-time data or even send real-time data or just in general you know fetch data from external sources in your web page this is what you want to do so today we're actually going to look at making a simple get request to read the contents of a text file into the HTML body tag so first we need to actually make a file to read from so let's make a new simple text file inside here called dom.txt and we're going to put some contents inside here let's just say how's it going my name is dom okay so now with this we're going to read this into the actual html body tag All right. keep in mind that actually this file is in the same directory as the index page okay so to get started we'll need to make an XML HTTP request object. So let's define a new constant here called XHR equal to a new XML HTTP request. All right, that is step one done. We've made the actual object itself. Now I want to show you the ready state property of this object. So let's just console.log ready state. So XHR.ready state. Let's log this out. I'm going to save this, go in the browser, and then refresh. Okay, so it's zero right now. So the ready state of an XHR represents the current state of the request. So the request um, state goes to different stages. It goes from zero up to four. So there's five stages. Now, zero means unsent. One means opened. Two means head is received. Three means loading and 4 means done. So, we care about the status code or the, um, the ready state equal to 4. That's what we want because 4 means that the request has been completed, we've got a response and we most likely have some data to actually read. So, with that in mind, let's go inside the code now and we're going to define an event listener or handler on this XHR object when the ready state changes. So let's say XHR dot on ready state change equals to a function. Okay. So whenever the XHR dot ready state property changes, this function gets called and it runs. All right. With that in mind, Let's make a if statement inside this function. We're going to say if xhr dot ready state equals four, then we know the request has now been completed and we're ready to move on. Now, inside this if statement, we obviously have a response from the server. Now, the response might be 200 OK, it could be 404 not found, 403. 401 etc so we want to check if the HTTP response code or the status is 200 so we're going to say if XHR dot status equals 200 in this case right here 200 means that the request was being successful everything's smooth and the data is ready if there is data so in this case right here we are now ready to read the data into the body tag. But for now, we're simply just going to console.log the response body or the response text or the response data. <laughs> there are different names for it, but okay. So in our case here, the response text will be everything inside dom.txt. So we access that, that content using the XHR dot response text property so let's console.log xhr dot response text okay and that is all for that bit right there 
Now, down here, we're also going to check if the response code was 404. So if the file or resource was not found on the server, we want to do something else. So let's say if the xhr.status equals 404, in this case here, the file or resource was not found. Therefore, we're going to log out uh, file or resource not found. Okay, and that is all for that bit right there. So let's just recap. We have this on ready state change event handler. When the ready state of this XHR changes, this function gets called. If the ready state is full, which means the request has been completed, we have a response. If that's the case, um, we're going to check if the status was 200, so the response status. If it was 200, we're okay to go. We're going to simply just log out the response text. If it wasn't 200, if it was 404 not found, then we'll say file a resource not found. All right. So now we're going to have to actually make the request itself. So open it and then send it. So let's say xhr.open. We're going to call the open method here. This method takes three arguments. The first one being the type of request. In our case here, it will be a get request. Okay, so that means we're going to simply just get data, you know, no sending through posts, anything like that, just getting data, simple as that. Now the second argument will be the URL or location of the actual resource. In our case here, it will be dom.txt. So inside here, let's say dom.txt, perfect. Now the third argument is whether or not the request will be asynchronous or not. So let's put true inside here. Now that right there means that the request will be asynchronous and that means that the request will not interrupt the remaining JavaScript code. So if I, for example, log out some something here, if I have this statement right here and this is set to true, that means once this line executes, this line executes straight away just like normal. However, if I make this false, false, this is a synchronous request, which means that this code won't run until the request has been fully made and processed. So you always want to use true. That is recommended and encouraged by all the major browsers, all that stuff. If you're doing server side stuff, maybe something like false is what you want to do. But if you're working in the browser, make sure this is true at all times, you know, or most cases. All right, so now we have opened it up. We're now going to send out the request, the final stage. So let's say xhr.send, it's as simple as that. So that's all for this code right now. We can save this, go in the browser and then refresh. We should see the contents in the console. There we are. How's it going? My name is Dom. Perfect. Now, if you go inside the Chrome uh, developer tools here, if you're using Chrome, um, go inside the network tab. And Firefox has similar you know, tools, but here we can actually filter the network tab by XHR. Let's press that right there. We can see the request we've made inside the Chrome developer tools. So we click on this. We see we have the headers we sent, the response, the preview. So basically it's cool to see, you know, the status of 200, the type of XHR, all that stuff, the time it took. So, you know, look at this stuff and try and get used to it. That's, it's, it's very useful and, you know, good, uh, good to see. But now if we go inside the console, once again, what we're going to do is obviously just transfer this right here into the actual HTML page. So we're going to just make a new paragraph tag inside the body. So we'll say a new paragraph, give it an ID of something like, I don't know, bottle. For example, now inside this if statement right here, we're going to get rid of this obviously, and then instead put down document dot element by ID bottle, right, and then dot text content equals xhr dot response text. So now if we save this one and try again in the browser, we should see the response now inside the page itself. Perfect.
and that is how you can make an XML HTTP request within JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.